In this video, I'm going to show how to create internet button with Google IoT Core, ESP32, and Mongoose OS. We need to have three things done before. First, download, install, and configure Google Cloud SDK. You have to have a gcloud command set up on your computer. Second, go to mongoose-os.com and install MOS tool. Third, get an ESP32 development board, like this one. Here I have Espresso DevKit C board and connect it to your computer. Go to mongoose-os.com, click on Developers, Documentation, and open Google IoT Core documentation page. gcloud component install beta. Okay, have them installed. Second, authenticate with Google Cloud. Choose user. Click allow. Okay, we are authenticated. Next, create your project. So you have to choose a unique project name for yourself, but I have one already created. It's called Tessanta-2015. Okay, continue. Next command attaches the policy to my project. Okay, done. Next, set up default project name. Okay, done. Create pub subtopic. Okay. Create subscription. Okay. And create device registry. Done. Now type MOS to start Mongoose OS Web UI. Here we go. Choose serial port. Click select, choose ESP32 and demo-js app, click on flash. That installs JavaScript enabled firmware. Okay, the firmware is flashed now. Configure Wi-Fi, enter network name. And the password. Click on set. My device is online now. Click on done. Go back to the instructions. Copy the last command. Click on terminal tab and paste this command here. Change the project name. And press enter. So this last command provisions the device to Google IoT Core. Now let me switch to the Google IoT Core console. What I see here is a device registry that I've created earlier. Click on IoT registry. And here I have my device. Google IoT Core defines two special MQTT topics for each device. They're called config and state. The state topic keeps the device state and config topic keeps the device configuration. Switch back to the console, click on Edit Registry, and choose a device state topic. Click Update. Now go back to the device code and change the topic to state. So on the button press, we will be publishing a message to the state topic. Click this button to upload this file to the device. Wait until it's connected and click on a button. We see published messages here to the state topic. Switch back to the console, click on a device ID and click on configuration and state history. Now when I press a button again and refresh this page, I can see how my messages appear here. Click on the last one, choose text, so you can see the message with the free RAM and total RAM numbers. 
So this shows how you can send information from the device to the Google IoT Core. Now let me show the other way around. How can you push data from the Google IoT Core to the device? Go to JavaScript code and add few lines, MQTT subscribe to the config topic. So let's change the topic name to the configuration topic. So the last bit would be config, okay? And in this handler, what we're going to do is just print the configuration that we have received, nothing else. So click on this button to upload this file and switch back to the Google IoT console, back to the device details and click on update config. And here enter simple JSON structure, A123. Click send to device and go back to the device. We can see this message appear. To summarize, in this video, I've shown how you can send data from the device to the Google IoT Core and the other way around. Thanks for watching.